so hello everyone so in this session till now we have discussed all the max concept now here we are going to start with the network concepts that is the fourth subject of network analysis okay so here let's start with the first concept that is in the network analysis first module we have a concept called as source transformation okay so here these are the few of the source transformation techniques so how we need to do the source transformation and all everything is there here see for source transformation what we need to do is wherever there is a voltage source we need to convert it to the current source along with the resistance that is if there is a voltage source along with the uh, a series resistance we need to convert it to current source along with the parallel resistance here okay yeah see some some of the sums they have shown it also we have another concept called as source shifting okay here what do you mean by source shifting is wherever there are multiple sources see uh, attached with the two resistance for example there is a current source here attached with the two impedances right we can split that source into two parts okay yeah so we have another kind of concept that is conversion of uh, delta network to star okay when uh, in delta connection they would be giving three resistance that is connected like this in a triangle what we need to do is we need to split that and write it in this form star form see inside the triangle that's there right for that we have a formula similarly goes for internal connection of a star to delta so we have another kind of concept called as mesh analysis or loop analysis where the circuit would be of this form uh, would be considering of uh, n number of closed loops for that we need to take one of the one one loops and we need to calculate the currents based on that using kvl see it is written on applying kvl through each loop right yeah so if you want you can pause the video and refer the steps here okay so this was all about mesh analysis uh, our goal is in mesh analysis we need to calculate the currents okay by using the kvl and there is my one more concept called as super mesh super mesh is uh, nothing but whenever there are in the between two mesh whenever there is a current source attached between it that current source will act as a super mesh that is whenever there is a current source between the two super uh, between the two meshes right that whole um, two meshes would be a single mesh and that would be acting as a super mesh so this that's all the concept of super mesh so we have a mesh rate right? so similarly we have node analysis where we need to calculate the voltages here in mesh analysis we need to calculate currents here using this node analysis we can calculate voltage by using the kcl that is kirchhoff's current law and in node analysis we use kvl that is kirchhoff's voltage law right yeah so that was all about our first module few of the important concept so let's go with now with the second module that is network theorems so in the network theorems also we have few very very important theorems that you need to be knowing the first theorem that is here that is superposition theorem this is the whole statement of the superposition theorem okay so what do you mean by superposition theorem so in a network complex network if they would be having if they they would be having a more than one source right respective of the voltage source or it might be current source for one by one we need to calculate the currents for that okay for example if there are uh, two voltage sources in a network so we should uh, eliminate one vo voltage source and we need to uh, if there is a voltage source we need to eliminate it by shorting them if there is a current source we need to eliminate it by uh, removing that we that we need to open circuit okay yeah so that's all this is about superposition theorem so the second kind of theorem is thevenin's theorem so in this thevenin's theorem uh, basically what we need to do is in a complex network they would be giving a load resistance so in order to uh, apply the thevenin's theorem first we need to calculate the vth that is thevenin voltage for that thevenin voltage we need to remove that load resistance and we need to trace back the values from a uh, y to x okay that is we need to trace back the values of uh, whatever we have removed the uh load resistance right from that we need to trace back the values and we we will get a equation using kcl we need to write that equation after that whatever current is obtained in that equation we need to we need to use the mesh analysis and uh, obtain that current value 
after that we would be getting the thevenin voltage after thevenin apply after applying thevenin rule we need to use the z equivalent uh, formula to calculate z equivalent that is the equivalent impedance what we need to do is we need to remove all the uh, sources voltage sources and current sources and we we need should be keeping only the resistances in the circuit after that we need to calculate the equivalent impedance that's all about thevenin's theorem so we have method of calculating this uh, thevenin's theorem uh, in case of any dependent sources so in order to calculate uh, thevenin's theorem in case of any dependent sources we have this formula to calculate z equivalent that is we need to use z equivalent equal to voc by isc where voc stands for open circuit and sc stands for short circuit so we have one more kind of theorem that is norton's theorem this is similar to thevenin's theorem so in the uh, thevenin's theorem we used to calculate voltage right in norton's theorem we need to calculate the norton current that is in so in order to calculate in again we need to uh, remove the load and calculate it okay so we have one more kind of theorem that is milman's theorem so this is again an easy theorem so here they would be giving uh, this is similar to that of the source transformation okay yeah what we need to do is whenever there are multiple voltage sources or current sources we need to convert it to the single equivalent voltage or current source along with the resistance uh, that would be your final re uh, remaining milman's theorem we can either use source transformation or this is a standard formula given there vm equal to v1 y1 plus v2 y2 v3 y3 where y1 stands for admittance okay which is the reciprocal of resistance so here is one more uh, important kind of theorem uh, that is it might come for derivation that is maximum power transfer theorem so you can pause the video and refer the derivation yeah so that's all so in the next session we would be discussing a lot more thank you